So here we have the CD60 Dreadnought V3 by Fender. Guitar Works in Calgary in Canada kindly lent me this to do a demo, so thanks to them. If you want to know if you should buy this guitar, if you've clicked on this link to, to, to get a review, if you're in this range for this kind of guitar, this is an awesome buy. This retails for, I think it's like $250 or something, $200. It's, it's an acoustic guitar, no electrics, but for the market that this is aimed at, it's, it's great. Like, that's all you need to do. Log off <laughs> YouTube and go buy the thing. Uh, but if you're interested in a bit more of the specs and that sort of thing, I'll talk through some of that now. So we've got three finishes available. We've got the black, sunburst, and the natural, which is this one, which is a nice kind of clear finish uh, with a natural wood feel. We've got the dreadnought body style, which is, you know, the deepest body you can get. So it's got the nice low end. Uh, but we've, we've got the laminated spruce top with the, apparently, the scalloped X bracing, which is like a thinner bracing, so uh, it's thinner than traditional, so it lets the top resonate more uh, due to this kind of reduced mass, you know, that there's not as much bracing pinning it down and weighing it down. Um, we've got the laminated mahogany back and sides, we've got the Graftec Newbone nut and the bridge saddles here as well. Uh, which uh, enhances sustain, clarity, and tonal consistency, which I can definitely hear when I play it. We've got chrome hardware, which is nice not to see plastic around. Um, really adds to the st stability and the look and the longevity of the thing. We've got C-shaped mahogany neck, which is nice, feels nice in the hands. Uh, we've got the rosewood fingerboard, which is, you know, synonymous with these kind of guitars. Dual action truss rod, so we can go both ways, depending on what action you want and what kind of strings you use. 20 frets, uh, we haven't got a cutaway here because there's a dreadnought, but you expect that. It's more for like guitar kind of chordal work down the bottom and kind of get into the 12th fret a little bit, but nothing up here, but like it's an acoustic guitar, how much do we actually do that kind of stuff anyway? Hard wearing uh, hard shell case. So this is amazing for the price. Um, it comes with a really nice hard shell case, which is just gonna protect the thing forever. Uh, and you would easily pay $100, you know, $100 for that, no problem on its own. So factoring that in, the guitar is obscenely well-priced. So let's play through um, the guitar in a few different positions and different styles of things, and you'll be able to have a listen to, to see what you think of the thing. <laughs> What I love is how acoustically resonant and how much chime and charm this really has. It's just, it sings and rings. When you play, I mean, drop D, you know, dad gad tune at the moment, so playing a D sus 2 in that shape. It's just really clear, but also has that nice kind of rounded low end to it. And it's really nice to play. And if you're into that kind of percussive kind of sound, we really get a lot of nice places to pop and click the guitar, like. It 
So I would definitely recommend you looking at this guitar and playing with it. I really enjoy the Fender budget line. Um, I think they've made awesome guitars in this line. There's a, there's a few little nuances where the fretboard kind of meets the neck and there's a couple of bits that could be a bit better finished, but in terms of sound playability, beginner guitar, like, I don't know, you can't really beat it in terms of the value you get from the instrument. Um, I really like the way it sounds, it rings, it's really clear, it's set up well. Um, I just think it's built to last. We've got the nice kind of string hooks there and it's nicely well balanced. It's not going to tip over and rock, but everything's nicely balanced and lightweight. So you've really got nothing to lose from buying this guitar. So if you've enjoyed the video, it means a lot to me. If you like, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and commented below because I enjoy to get into conversations with people who have questions, who actually bought the guitar and if it turned out to be as good as you thought it might be. It's, it's really nice to see people down there talking uh, to each other and to me about different things about the guitar. So hopefully see you down there and uh, thanks so much and I'll see you soon.